Hey you guys, it's, it's me and Kitty. <laughs> Down you go, girl. Um, I, I just wanted to talk to you uh, for a couple of minutes about, uh, actually Kevin, our cameraman, asked me about, uh, yeah, uh, when we do a new re line release, it, it's like, you know, what kind of stuff was I thinking? What, what were we thinking in the design room and all this about, about you know, what was going on in all this? Um, this is kind of new for us because we kind of split pop culture. In this release, we split pop culture, which we released <clears throat> um, earlier, uh, around, I think it was the beginning of February. And then, and then this release, which was later in our fashion release. Um, <clears throat> and we did do some of the fashion release with Tyler and the New Mood earlier. So this is the continuation of that. But um, Joe and I and the designer, we were all thrilled with the way this one came out. And I hope you all are too. The initial reports from you guys have been amazing. And I appreciate that. A lot of questions, a lot of uh, uh, great comments. And uh, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for all that. Um, but, the, the, you know, a couple of, you know, people are great, uh, are very happy to see um, uh, Dan and Peggy back. And so am I. And I love the new body where they can sit like a lady. Um, all those things that you guys have talked about. Um, actually, I do have. I just got the pre-production sample of Peggy in here, and I think she looks amazing. Amazing. So that's good news that we got the pre-production. That means that she's on the on the road. So she should be here. I'd say within an, within four to six weeks. So and she looks great. She looks better than I had hoped. Um, and that's nice for production. I love when that happens. But, you know, one of the things that, one of the big things was Cammie and John uh, had a lot of great comments on Cammie and John. Um, we we kind of took them out of this whole soft color sort of thing and started using colors and, and stronger themes. And uh, you guys have responded very well. I, you know, I can see by the orders. And that's great. Uh, so thank you for that again. The doll that I've gotten the most questions about, though, is... Um, Precarious, and I have those right here. Um, this is one of my favorites. I love this suit. So where the heck did she come from, you ask? Or maybe you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, my good friend Pat Henry, who um, is the editor of Fashion Doll Quarterly, great magazine by the way, um, told me that I should see a, an exhibit in at FIT in Manhattan. Uh, a fashion exhibit, and it was um, the, the, the fashion and style of, of Daphne Guinness. And I, so I did, I went down to New York and I saw, the, I saw the exhibit, and it was everything that Pat said it was. It was just incredible. And this woman has such an uh, incredible taste level and all this. So I was definitely inspired to come back and do something that was, you know, hopefully, you know, has some of that, that, um, that essence of you know someone who's you know a socialite who um, uses fashion as self-expression and, and uh, has the money to do it, and that's what, kind of what I wanted to, to get across in uh, Precarious. So you know, Precarious has her own whole storyline too. She's kind of she's kind of this socialite, anti-mame sort of figure, but young. And uh, there will be other characters in this line, but I'm very, very excited about her. And I'm excited about, you know, um, how I was able to translate how I felt about her into the clothes. Because I think there's a structure that I usually don't put into what we do here. And, I, uh, and uh, you know, details and stuff like that that we normally wouldn't use. And so, you know, um, Pat gave me a little shove in this direction, and uh, I'm glad she did. So anyway, I'm, thank you again for uh, the kind words about the collection. Uh, we, we love it here too, and I, I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, I'll see you at the next one. Take care.